Hello everybody, I'm the Sonic Arrow and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Now, I am level 70, not only goofy or lagging behind, but I got Sora's best ability, Ripple Drive. And it is a powerful finishing combo attack upon surrounding enemies. And its attack power is relative to max MP value. And I have 13 MP. I'm gonna go wail on some ground-based enemies because it's a ground combo finisher. But I'm gonna show you exactly how good this is. And when I say good, I mean good. I can now one-shot wizards with a five attack combo. Stop. That is Ripple Drive. And it's a guaranteed combo finisher. I guess I didn't get that done, but hey, it's it's a it's a heavy hitter. I mean, look at that. It is based on my maximum MP value, which is 13. But it just allows me to one-shot the wizards. <coughs> uh, excuse me. But, yeah. So it's time to go back to Hollow Bastion. I've been doing a lot of grinding, and I'm level 70-something, and I want to unlock the Hades Cup. So I can finally grind out to level 100. Or 99. Or whatever the max level is. I just want to get to the last level that Sora can be. And I want to do that through the Hades Cup. So... We are going to fly to the warp hole, which was opened after we got the last, um, navigation gummy from Sid. Calling out the names of the blueprints because the naming convention is you get the name of the gummy ship blueprint. Uh, now I'm not sure if I want to play Chain of Memories anymore. Like I like Chain of Memories, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if I want to play it like immediately after Kingdom Hearts One because uh, it's just so. So frustrating. But at the same time, I really have to. Because at some point I want to play all the Kingdom Hearts games. But I want to play Recoded the worst. Like, that's the one I want to play really badly. Because I miss I miss our boy Sora. Or my boy Data Sora. Because he is ultimate. But you know what, I'm probably just gonna play Chain of Memories, get it over with, and then move on to something like Days. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to play the DS games, like, immediately after, or what, because, like, story-wise, that's where they go. But, like, I also want to like, play the games in the order I want. Like, I might just go Birth by Sleep next, to be honest. But probably not. I'll probably just... 
I'll probably save the DS games for later. Like, I'll just play all the games that are possible on this game. Like, up. I don't know, man. I don't know what game I want to play next. Like, it's probably gonna be uh, Re Chain of Memories. Like, if I'm being completely honest, it'll probably be in release order. So I might play. I might just go the entire collection that I can and then play the DS games at a later date. But, like, I own the DS games and I have to rip those carts. But, I don't know. I'll probably. I'll probably just do that. Like, I'll play the games I haven't played very much, which is the non-DS games, like the ones on console, and then I'll probably do like, I'll probably play them all like that way. I'll do the DS games later, but at the same time, I need to play all of the games at some point. But I, I cannot be like bothered to care about Chain of Memories. Like I'm not gonna pretend that I care to play Chain of Memories, and I'm gonna be telling you, oh, it sucks, like a lot. Like not, not that the game sucks. Where's Bell? Still in the castle. Against her will? No, I think she stayed for a reason. The other princesses are inside as well. I wonder why. Let's go ask them. They may need my strength. I'll go with you. Thank you, beast. Alright, it's time to... Get going and get her done. You know what I mean? Like, just get her done. Because I'm not, I'm not going to say Kingdom Hearts is bad, like Kingdom Hearts 1. Because it's honestly a really solid game. Like, it is the entry point into the series. It's like, it's like the gateway drug to the rest of the series. Except my gateway drug was Kingdom Hearts Recoded, and I was like, I have to play the rest of these. There is no way I can keep going not knowing the rest of the series, so I made it my mission to play the games. <coughs> but... Like, because it's the first game, it's kind of clunky. Like, I'm gonna be honest and say that there is definitely a clunkiness to this game. It's not bad. And it's definitely... It's definitely a good game. Like, if you ignore, like, mechanics from later games... And just focus on what Kingdom Hearts 1 has... Like, it's so... I'm just saying that because I have knowledge of the other games... It's definitely clunky and slow. Like, it's slower paced than all, lot, a lot of the other games. Like, Birth by Sleep has faster paced combat. That's because of the hardware it was released on. It was released on the PSP. That system was a lot, was, I, I don't want to say it was a lot more advanced than the PS2, but it was definitely powerful in its own right, and like, they optimized it well for the platform it was on, and like, it works, it just works, is what I'm saying, like, I cannot find faults with any of the games, like, knowing what platform they were released on, because, like, hardware limitations would keep Kingdom Hearts 1 from being, like, fast-paced, a lot of explosions everywhere, like in later titles, because of hardware restrictions. And, like, even in the games where it is, is lousy with, like, explosive, flashy combos, 
like, for, like, it, it's scaled to the hardware it's on. Like, recoded? I had a blast playing that game, because I didn't know about Kingdom Hearts 2, which was actually made for PS2, just, uh, like, years later, compared to Kingdom Hearts 1, but, like, they figured out how to scale up the flashiness of 2 compared to 1, and it's like... It's like, they did a phenomenal job going from Kingdom Hearts 1 to Kingdom Hearts 2. Like, for, for what they are, as their own titles, it works! Like, there's nothing wrong with either game. It's just, you can tell there is a clunkiness to this game compared to 2. But that's only when comparing it. Like, on its own, Kingdom Hearts 1, phenomenal start to the series. Like, I've, I'll, I'll, I will die on this hill. There's nothing inherently wrong with Kingdom Hearts 1. It's just not as flashy as 2. Which, you know, is not a problem at all. Because, for what it is, it's a game that works. It has a story, it has engaging characters, and it has easy-to-follow combat mechanics. Like, the flow of combat isn't all that bad. I can gather what I'm supposed to be doing, and like, how to semi-build a Sora. I, I call it building a Sora because there's different ways to build him, and to have him focus on... There's different things for him to focus on. Like, I could have him focus on combat, or magic, or being a tank. Like, I could have gone for the Dream Sword and made him a slap-shotting maniac with tons of combat potential. But I went for survivability because we're on critical mode, and so I chose the shield. But I could have also specced him into magic, getting him a lot more magic points right off the starting round if I wanted to, but the Dream Rod. But I went for the Shield, and that was my choice. But, like, there are different ways to play this game, and there are definitely a lot of good uh, combinations. Like, there's a good... There's a good variety of ways to build Sora up as a character. Like, with all of this, like the Rune Armlet, the Ray of Light, and the Magic Armlet, that's not scratching the deepest layer of how good I could build him to be a magic missile. And I'm gonna I'm gonna switch gears and talk about building magic nukes. I love building a magic nuke in any game that features a magic system, Kingdom Hearts included. Like, if I can build Sora up to be an absolute magical god, I'm gonna do it. At some point, I will I will be doing that. Like, there is a piece of equipment called Cosmic Arts, which ups your MP and summon, pow summon power and magic power. And it is possibly one of the best uh, pieces of equipment for building a magic Sora. Then there's other items that do better for other things, like raising his defense and his HP or his strength and his HP, or his strength and defense, or his strength and ability points. It does not matter what you want to do with Sora, there is a way to do it. That being said, however, Here. there are objectively wrong ways to build Sora based on what you're going for. Like if you want him to be a magic beast, don't give him things that up his strength over things that up his magic. Like, that's just, that's common, that's common sense, right? Like, you'd think that would be common sense. But like, people are like, I upped his attack, but why is his magic not good? Like, I can hit things hard with a keyblade, and they're using the Olympia keyblade. Like, instead of going for Lady Luck, or Spellbinder, or Oathkeeper, they go for Olympia, which ups strength very well, or like Metal Chocobo, reduces max MP by one. It's incredibly powerful. Yes, Olympia 
is more powerful and doesn't decrease magic by one, but using Lady Luck on a magic Sora is possibly the thing you need to do if you want a magic Sora. For a strength-based Sora, there's a Keyblade I'm about to get that is super... is the... it's the Oath Keeper equivalent to the ultimate Keyblade for building a physical Sora. Like, it is the physical equivalent of Oath Keeper. Or Lady Luck. Or something like that. I don't know how to explain it. It's called it's called Oblivion. And it's it's up here where we fought Anson Riku. I want, keep wanting to put an H in there and call him Handsome Riku. But Riku's just handsome on his own, so it's like it's like a it's like a double positive. It's like saying the same thing twice. It's like, damn Riku, why you so handsome, my man? You're gonna be a lady killer, dude. And it's like Damn, Riku kind of hates him. You know, you know what I mean? But, like, not in the game, because he's a child. And that's disgusting. Anyway, just... I was, I was talking about magic nukes. Uh, so, Sora can become a magic nuke. Like this. Like, just... You can nuke enemies into oblivion with magic in, some, in a game, and I am all for it. Like, I will find the way to build a magic at some point. Like in Skyrim, oh, it's a, it's a glass can kind of situation. I up my magic skills if I'm playing a mage, and I use armor. But! Um, building a magic nuke is something I try to go for in every, in every kind of game that features a magic system. And it's also how I do... Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor Overclocked. By increasing your magic stat, you can create what is called a magic nuke. It ups your max number of magic points, your MP, and how strong your magic attacks are. And I love it because you get. There are skills called. Uh, X dance. Like, insert X for, like, whatever element you want. Like, fire dance? Yes. Ice dance? Yes. Wind dance? Thunder dance? Or electric dance? Holy dance? And dark dance, I think? Sora, please hurry. Darkness is pouring from the keyhole. It's all we can do just to hold back the darkness. I don't know how long we can manage even that. Alright, I'm on my way. We're counting on you, Keyblade Master. In the meantime, we'll do what we can, too. So, Sora met Alice and Jasmine, but not Snow White. He also didn't meet Cinderella or Aurora. We've been waiting for you, Keyblade Master. Where's Ansem? Gone. When the Keyblade appeared, darkness poured out of it. Swallowed Ansem and he disappeared. Though Ansem is gone, the flood of darkness hasn't stopped. We're working together to hold it back. I cannot forget the look on his face. As the darkness engulfed him, he was smiling. That's horrifying. Alright, I want to go into the library to talk to Belle. Because she gives us... a keychain. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hop down. Go back to... Go back to, um... Down. Sora has lit has bones of steel if he can just tank a jump like that. Thunder. But 
Shard Blizzard Ring. That's kind of cool. Okay, library. Bell is in here. She was. She's supposed to be. Oh, here she is. come to seal the keyhole, right? Please, be careful. The darkness is raging deep inside. We've been holding it back, but we can't hold out much longer. We'll take care of it. This is for you. Use it to face the darkness as the beast has. Divine Rose. String of Critical Blows. It lowers our MP by 2, but it also increases our strength. It's kinda goaded. You can also deal a string of critical hits, which is nice. But also, I just wanted to get the crap to keep like. Now we get a. Wait a minute. You can take the gummy ship out of the library, right? Castle Chapel. I'm a genius. Thunder. That was a lot of cheese, but I don't care. Now, I was... Earlier, I was looking up mods to see if I could get Sora to be a solo fighter. But there don't seem to be any, which is kind of... <laughs> kind of disappointing. I really wanted to fight with Sora only, like we can in the Coliseum. But there was no way to... There's no mod to edit your party. Which I really, I really wish there was. Because that would just be awesome. Soldier has been dealt with. Oh, enemies. Come back into existence. Wizard's Relic? Well, that's cool. Oh, and 
I'm absorbing most of these uh, drops because I took treasure magnet off Donald and Goofy. More puppies. That's right, I was trying to get all the puppies. Okay. Now, can I stop with the fighting already? Of course not! Anyway... Something over here... That I want. Oblivion. Which reduces max MP by one, but possesses colossal power. So we'd lose two and then three, but we have colossal power. Now, the, uh, the last I knew, there was this was supposed to be the Keyblade that we get from Riku, just like we got Oathkeeper from Kairi. But... Because Riku disappeared and was possessed by Ansem, we really can't get it from him. So we get it after we battle him. Stop. We can't stop the behemoth. But it does possess colossal power. However, max MP is reduced by one. Mega Arts. That's one of the greatest. Now let's go and seal that big keyhole. Dora, you did it. What are you guys doing here? Came in Sid ship. This is our childhood home. We want to see it again. It's in worse shape than I feared. It used to be so peaceful. Don't worry. If we defeat Ansem, all should be restored, including your island. Really? But it also means goodbye. Once the worlds are restored, they'll all be separate again. Everyone will go back to where they came from. I'll visit you guys with the gummy ship. It's not that simple. 
before all this, you didn't know about the other worlds, right? Because every world was isolated. Impassable walls divided them. The Heartless destroyed those walls, but if the worlds returned, so will the walls. Which means gummy ships will be useless. So you're saying we'll never... We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. No matter where we are, our hearts will bring us together again. Besides, I couldn't forget you, even if I wanted to. What's that supposed to mean? But 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 not yet. Keyhole has been secured. Thank you, Sora. I think the darkness has begun to weaken. But I can feel a powerful darkness growing somewhere far away. It's the heart of the darkness. It must be where Ansem went. We'll take the gummy ship and deal with both the Ansem and the Heartless. But we're the answer, Key Bleed Master. We offer this power to aid your battle. Fyraga. Sora, your courage can bring back our worlds. Once the darkness is gone, all shall return to its original state. Kyra will be back on the island? Most certainly, and you should be too. I can't go home till I find Riku and the king. We cannot! Ah! For, first of all, we're going back up to this place to talk to Aerith. Because she gives us power of healing, which upgrades Cure into Cura into Curaga. <coughs> She's not in Dark Depths, so where is she? She must be in the library. She is. I have to talk to her three times. Sorry, you should read this. Read what? It's the rest of Ansem's report. Maleficent must have collected it. Ansem's report two, four, and six. Ten! Ansem disappeared when this world fell into darkness. It was believed he died defending people from the Heartless, but Ansem was the one who brought them here. Ansem waits in darkness, but here's a little light to protect you, Sora. Kirog. What's up, Leon? This was once Ansem's castle. He was widely res he was widely respected as a wise man. The darkness took him. He began experimenting with people's hearts. <laughs> Some wise man. So much suffering and ruin, and for what? I thought this was Malevolent's doing. But she was just another puppet of the darkness, just like Ansem. The darkness is our real enemy, but how to beat him? Well, first things first, let's purge every last Heartless we can find. I'll use my real name until this world is restored. Squall. His real name's Squall.
What's up, Yuffie? Handsome yeah, and Maleficent were both possessed by the darkness. You know, I just don't get it. What's so great about the darkness? This is my home, but it just doesn't feel like it. I don't remember much because I was only a kid. There are no Heartless here, so rest up. We've got to get rid of the Heartless and rebuild this world. For a second, I thought she said rebuilt, which is the past tense. New world! Turn up being held. Com competition is a lot tougher now, so be careful. Alright, cool. Coliseum. I'm going here, though. You know, I'm not sure I actually need to be level 100 because I am quite skilled already. So maybe I won't hit level 100 this, this playthrough. Maybe I'll just play this game and move on. Yeah, I'll probably just finish this game and then move on to the next. Yeah, I'll just I'll just play this game and move on to the next one. I won't get level 100. I mean, I'm level 70, and that should be plenty. I just gotta configure my hot bar to have all my my correct spells. I just wonder if I can use stop against the next boss. That'll determine if I take stop. With me. Oops. Well, that sucks. some more weapons on here. Large. 
large cannon. I forgot, I forgot that we were a stanced up mf -er. We are going full in on laser technology. Going all in. Laser technology and large cannons. So the large cannons launch missiles. But these lasers, I'm loving it. Should not have gone so heavy into the large rocket or large cannons, but I don't regret it. past that. Okay, there it is. The end of the world! End of the world. I could get copyright struck and start singing the REM song. George, is that all that's left of the world taken by the heartless? Those worlds will be restored if we beat Ansem, right? You betcha! But if we do beat him, and all these worlds become restored and disconnected, what's gonna happen to this place? And to us? Yeah. 
This is a heartless world, so maybe it'll just disappear. Huh? But no worries. Even if this place goes poof, our hearts ain't going nowhere. I'm sure we'll find our pals again. Yep, I just know that we will. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're right. We made a promise. I'll return this. I promise. These guys kind of suck. I mean, it's all air combat with these guys. This, this is, I gotta say, oh, pretty stone. This is one of the worlds of all time, but it's not bad. It's got a nice design. I like it. It's aesthetically, it, I, I like it aesthetically. have to get up on his back. That's all there is to it. tell where you're supposed to be going afterward because the islands are pointed. Angel stars. These guys suck. Because they do this. I think they're also immune to magic. Yes.
elixir. Gale. Okay, that's good. Nope, we can't go that way. Okay. But we can go in here. Another behemoth. MB East. Hmm. Wonder where that handsome fella went. Dive in the most dangerous place and we'll find him. We'll save here. And I think I have to end the episode here. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Once again, I cannot stress enough how great this game is. We're almost there. I hope next episode will be the last one. But we won't know until we get there. So, until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!